In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about an Instagram scam that I'm seeing pop up quite a bit. Let's dive right into it. So as far as I'm aware, this scam runs in two threads that occur somewhat uh, at the same time. The first one we're going to call the account phishing scam, and that's where the scammer tries to steal your Instagram account. And the second thread is what we're going to call the Bitcoin dealer scam, where the scammer pretends to be like a Bitcoin investor of some sort and tries to scam you out of your money that way. So let's talk about each of these in turn. So the account phishing scam begins with a message like this. Basically what the scammer is trying to do here is they're basically just pretending to be your friend actually, and this message actually came to me from the compromised account of one of my friends. Uh, and basically they're asking you to send them a verification link that you've received uh, by text. Here's what's actually going on. What the scammer is doing is they're basically going into Instagram and clicking that forgotten password button and then just popping in your username over there and when they do this, Instagram sends you uh, an email or a text message that uh, sends a link that you can use to reset your password and log in. And this link is what the scammers are trying to take from you. And if you send them this link, it will give them access to your account and they can do whatever they want from there. So this is how scammers are stealing your account using this in this particular leg of the scam. So now that we've completed the account phishing portion of the scam, let's talk about the Bitcoin dealer portion. So basically what happens in this leg is that once the scammer has taken over an account like they, like we talked about in the first leg of the scam, they'll flood that account's stories with these kinds of, of posts. They'll say, oh, if you follow this investor, they'll help you multiply your, in your initial investment tenfold or something like that. They'll say, oh, this, this person changed my life. They helped me get all this extra money with just a small investment. This is game changing. You should go follow them. And when you go follow that, when you go talk to that account, what you'll see is basically your standard uh, advance fee scam. Basically what they'll say is, oh, if you give me $700, I'll give you back $7,000. Except if you give them the $700, they're just gonna take it and run away. You will never see any return on that money at all. Uh, and the scammer will never talk to you again unless it's to ask you for more money. And that's really how the scam works. Now, let's talk about what you should do if you see this scam, because this scam is, as you can tell, very targeted towards the friends of whoever's account the, the scammer is able to get a hold of. So let's talk about what you should do if you see this. Firstly, don't send them anything, whether it's your friend you, who's asking you for a recovery code or this particular Bitcoin investor asking you for money. Do not send them anything. In fact, it's best that you just don't talk to them at all. Uh, just cut off the conversation right away. Next thing you want to do is to contact your friend whose account has been compromised using another verified channel. Maybe text them on WhatsApp or Messenger. If you can talk to them face to face, that's the best. But of course, I understand that's not always possible. But or you could maybe give them a call, something like that. But use another verified channel to make sure that they're that they know what's going on and that they're, of course, uh, able to take action. And lastly, report the scammy Bitcoin account, uh, the, inv the Instagram investor account that is so that Instagram can take it down. Now, if you have been scammed, firstly, my sincerest condolences. It's never easy to lose a social media account, especially if it's something that you've curated very intimately over the years. Um, but unfortunately, there's just not a lot you can do if, if it goes this far. The best thing you can do is try and change your password again. There's a chance that might work. But if it doesn't, the uh, best thing you can do is just have contact, contact Instagram, see if you can have the account suspended so that it doesn't uh, infect any other people. Let's now talk briefly about how we can protect ourselves from such scams. Firstly, make sure you use different passwords for different accounts that you might have, and make sure you use two-factor authentication for at least your most important accounts. And using apps like Microsoft Authenticator and Duo for this two-factor authentication can help make them even more secure. Another way I'd really like to keep on top of what's going on with scams is to follow scam baiting content. Now, scam baiting, for those of you who don't know, is basically when some content creators will basically go in and try and mess with scammers. It makes for great content, but very importantly, it also keeps you up to date on the latest kind of tricks that scammers may be trying to pull on us. So that's a great way to stay on top of the latest scams, because knowing what, what kind of things scammers are trying to pull is a great way to keep to make sure you're staying vigilant and to prevent yourself from falling for anything like this. Here are some of my favorite scam baiting cre content creators that I really follow a lot. I'll put their li links to their channels in the video description. I highly recommend you check them out if you have a chance. Uh, they make some pretty, pretty, great pretty great content. 
the last thing that I found is really, really important for uh, evading scams is to just stop and think. And this is not just me trying to be your dad, but a lot of scams are actually designed to make you panic. A lot of these scams will deliberately build themselves in a way that creates a false sense of urgency that's designed to make you make a lot of these snap judgments that you might not normally make if you had a chance to sit down and think about what you're doing. So really, whenever you see something that looks suspect like this, whether it be a Nigerian prince email scam or a phone call scam or anything of the sort, stop and think for a second and you'll be surprised at how much that can help you in evading these kinds of things. Now, you might have seen the scam that I presented so far, and you might have just come with a question, but who would ever fall for this, right? It might just seem like such a blatantly obvious scam to you that you might not even be able to perceive how people would be able to fall for this. The reality, though, is that anyone can fall for a scam. There is a bit of a perception out there that only the elderly or only people who are really stupid can fall for scams, but that is simply not the case. Even with this particular scam, some of the people I know who fell for it are both incredibly smart and not elderly. So that goes right in the face of those perceptions. Really, the issue of falling for scams is much more complicated than that because there's all these different things. For example, you might not have seen the scam before, so you might not know it's a scam. Or likewise, you might not just be in the right mental state of mind. You might, uh, you might be very physically or emotionally tired or you might just not be in a good place in your life. And these things can cause you to make poor judgment calls. And that's fundamentally what falling for a scam comes down to. So there's really no point in shaming people who have fallen for scams. It's just really about making sure we all educate ourselves to make sure we can understand these better. So if you didn't fall for this, well, I'm really happy for you, but don't get cocky. There might be another scam out there that you might not be able to recognize properly. So that's really it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, do share it with other people. Let's get more people aware of this particular scam out there. And also, if you enjoyed this content, please do leave a comment. Uh, give me your feedback. I'd love to make more of these if, th if that's something that you guys like. And yeah, if you, if you liked what you see and you also like math content, consider subscribing and you can see more of that in the near future. But in the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and uh, stay safe out there.